So here is an example of a Power BI report using the new Power Automate visualization released in preview version by Microsoft just back in April. So this will allow you to feed data from a filtered Power BI dataset directly into a Power Automate flow. This example here is really just a proof of concept to show how this feature can be used with BBCRM data. So here we have a list of all of our BBCRM constituents. At this point, this is just pulling from a standard Power BI dataset, so all of the usual connection options there should work, and any other fields that you have in your dataset could be added as additional filters. But I can go through here and filter down my list just like I would with a standard Power BI report to get to the specific group of constituents that I want to work with further. So I'll apply a few filters here, which will bring my total constituent count down to four. What is different about this report are going to be these two buttons over here on the bottom right. So each of these is an example of that new Power Automate visualization, meaning that when I click on either one of these, they will trigger a flow for the filtered records in my list. So in this case, for these four constituents. This is using the custom connector option in Power Automate that does rely on the BBCRM REST API. So that's probably the biggest limitation just to be aware of. Uh, these cases are going to be somewhat restricted to what is achievable with the endpoints that we have available. But in this case, there are two separate flows in this report, both of which will just go ahead and add reminder interactions to the records in my list. Again, in this case, to these four constituents. The first one there, add interaction assigned to me, is actually going to look up my record in BBCRM based on the Microsoft account details that I've used to log into Power BI, and then they make me the owner of all four interactions. The second one there, add interaction assigned to research, will simply assign all the interactions to a hard-coded GUID, in this case, one for the research team's record in BBCRM as the owner. But from here, I can go ahead and just click on the visualization to trigger my flow. I can see here it's notified me that it has been triggered. Need to be somewhat careful with performance. I would probably not have wanted to run this on my original 107,000 record list, but it's taking about five seconds or so to run for these four records. If I then go ahead and open one of them up in BBCRM, I should see that the interaction has been added. So I'll come to Ben's record. I can see here an interaction assigned to me. Again, it looked me up based on my Microsoft details. I can see the summary, the comment, the date, all of this is hard coded within the details of the flow itself, something that you can define when you set up the flow. But aside from that, I can see it's come in and it's added the interaction just as I would have expected it to. From there, I'll go back to the report just for those of you who are a little bit more interested in the technical side. I'll come in and edit this just to show you how it's set up. So I come to edit this and I can come down and select either one of these visualizations. I'll see that they are this new visualization type, which is Power Automate for Power BI. The only thing I really configure here in the visualization pane is the data that I need to send from Power BI through to Power Automate. So I can see here the only information that I'm passing at this point is the constituent GUID. So I'm sending through the GUID of the constituent to whom the interaction should be added. But you could theoretically feed through other uh, fields as well or other data points if there are any other parameters in your flow that you want to populate based on the data that you have available within your, your Power BI report. So to set up the flow itself, what you do is you come into the more options for the visualization and you click on edit. What this will do is it will actually surface a view of Power Automate within Power BI, where you're able to come in and choose which flow you want to kick off with that particular visualization. Um, you're also then actually able to edit the flow from within Power BI as well. So I can come in and edit this flow. In this case, I can see this is the one that is adding the interaction, but also looking up my record. Uh, so I can see that the trigger is on Power BI button clicked. I can see information on the lookup for the fundraiser, which is a REST API call, and I can see down below the loop where it's going in and actually adding in my interaction details. So that is really all there is to it. From there, I can go back to my report. I can add multiple instances. So I can see here, I already have two instances of that visualization. I can add additional instances as needed, each of which can trigger its own flow with its own details associated therein. Really cool new feature that can definitely add some additional capabilities to our Power BI reports.